Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna take you guys shopping with me at our local flea market, and hopefully I can come up with a good haul for you. All right, if you're new here, my name is Claire. My channel is all about mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff, so definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Today we are going to our local flea market. It's one that sets up like in a parking lot, um, like the last Sunday of every month, something like that. There's a specific Sunday of the month that it sets up on all summer through, I think this is the last one through October. So um, we've hit it up a few times this summer. I've gotten some like cool things. It's less flea markety and more garage sale-y if I had to sort of categorize it a little bit better, but hopefully we can find some good deals, some great pre-loved things for amazing prices. And yeah. I just thought I'd take you guys along. Desmond, what did you get? Show me. A hat. Wow, ah. a car and a chocolate covered pretzel. Yeah. You're pretty lucky. <laughs> Alright you guys, we are home now. We had a really good time. Um, the kids found some like Halloween treats someone was selling. There was also um, a hot dog stand. So my husband got down on a Coney dog. Um, so we made like a whole sort of day out of it. Um, I did end up getting some pretty good deals on some stuff. So of course I'm going to show them to you now. The first thing I got, I am very excited about. I got this for $10. And it is this beautiful cast iron pan. And I've never owned anything made of cast iron before. I know like there's all sorts of stuff you gotta do to them. And I actually had it in my mind that I wanted one because today I went to Aldi this morning and they were selling cast iron maintenance kits on how to like clean them and season them and all that. So I did know from doing a little bit of research that even if a cast iron pan looks like it's really like messed up, you can bring it back to life uh, pretty easily with the right treatment. So I thought $10 for this nice cast iron skillet was a totally good deal. Also, I really like supporting this kind of stuff because obviously I like to thrift um, because like that goes to a charity, but it also is nice just like putting that money back into just other people in your community. Like, you know what I mean? So these are all just regular people who rent out these little like parking spots and they just display what they have and there's anywhere from people selling like things that they've couponed so like shampoo to like um housewares and like garage sale -y type stuff and um this guy just had a whole bunch of iron things so i think that's really cool that you can just give that money back to that person and yeah i don't know anyway uh next we found some grave diggers for the boys. And if you don't know who Gravedigger is, it is a uh, monster truck. It's like a real famous monster truck. Um, both my kids know who Gravedigger is. I don't think they've ever seen him, but um, Blippi, you know Blippi if you've got a toddler. Blippi has a video where he has like a Gravedigger toy. Um, these came from two different stalls actually, but I was very excited to find two identical Gravediggers and I paid a dollar for each of them. So. Both boys have a grave digger now. I also paid $5 for this bag of dinosaurs. It does seem a little kind of pricey for a bag of dinosaurs because a lot of these you can find at like Dollar Tree and stuff. But they did throw in two little like matchbox cars that the boys are already playing with in with it. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, let's see. They're definitely like more well made than the Dollar Tree ones. And you know my kids like flipping love dinosaurs so let's see the big ones one two three four. so we got five large dinosaurs in that bag we got this sort of like funny weird medium one we got a little pterodactyl we also have 11 of these little dinosaurs i totally had my eyeball on this like metallic-y silver one i know for sure my kids will be like fighting over the silver one um but i think these little ones are totally cute and yeah, for five bucks, like that's a lot of dinosaurs. Okay, next, this was from a different stall and I paid only $2 for this huge bag of dogs. And this was like hitting me in the nostalgia feels like super hard. 
I don't remember like what the brand is called, but I know if you are like a 90s kid, you had to have had these too. You know, like the little like dogs, like there was a whole set that you could have and like, I know you guys have to remember. Somebody please leave me a comment down below if you remember what these are called. But I mean, it is a gigantic lot of these dogs. Oh my gosh, it's Wishbone, you guys. He's dressed up like, I don't know, Paul Revere or something. But this is totally a little tiny Wishbone. Oh, 90s nostalgia. I mean, come on, you guys. This is amazing. Also, there were just these random parts in the bag, too. Um, like a head and um, like a couple legs, three different boots, and then the little Barbie shoe. So, you know, a little weirdness with it, too. All right, moving on. We got um, Desmond a Halloween costume. They had all these Halloween costumes, this one, like, vendor. And um, he saw this, like, dragon and was like, whoa, I want to be a dragon. Like, normally we try to have our Halloween costumes, like, match each other, you know? But then Fox picked the popcorn and it, like, messed everything up. And so I felt like if Desmond wants to be a dragon from a flea market, like, whatever. And the coolest part is this costume was only $5. Like, what? So I will definitely have him try this on and put the footage in right now. Wow! Say raw. Rawr! rawr. <laughs> That's like the best five bucks I ever spent. All right, you guys, we got one more thing at the flea market today. And it's pretty weird, but my husband had to buy it. He saw it and thought it was so cool and he bought it. So I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but he bought this interesting hand-carved cane that has like a doorknob on the top of it. So he paid $20 for this, which like, okay, that's a pretty good deal. All these types of like hand-carved things at like the Renaissance Festival, they're like hundreds of dollars. And it's got this like super dope hand-carved snake that goes all the way around. And I don't know. I told him he just needs to take really good care of it and then um, it'll be there for when he gets old. So totally weird, totally unnecessary. But if you watch my channel, very, very Gianni. So whatever, we had to get the cane. All right, you guys, kind of a little haul, not like a bunch of amazing stuff. I know like you guys probably really like my thrift hauls and normally those are a little bit bigger than what I showed you here, but we were a little bit picky at this flea market and some of the prices were kind of high and also there's a lot of antiques and like my house isn't real like antique -y or farmhouse-y, but if you are like a farmhouse person, you should definitely try and check out like antique shops and flea markets because there was a lot of like wooden crates and baskets and things like that that would totally go in the right house, just not mine. I hope you have been inspired to maybe go thrifting today or garage sailing, or depending on where you are, I know the weather is kind of changing and getting colder and you can't really find these types of flea markets that often, but just do a Google search, find out where they are near you. Sometimes there's like Facebook groups that do like online flea markets and stuff like that, but think that it's really cool and I just love the atmosphere of a good flea market you know leave me a comment down below let me know what your favorite item is mine I think is those little dogs I'm just like having all the 90s feels over here so hopefully my kids are totally into them and don't like think they're stupid of course come back for more mom stuff lady stuff and life stuff I post new videos every Wednesday Friday and Sunday and I'll see you in my next one